Hi, in this video I will introduce quarks and antiquarks. In a previous video we categorised subatomic particles as either hadrons or leptons. Leptons are fundamental, i.e. they cannot be subdivided into smaller particles. However, hadrons are not fundamental, they are made of quarks. Quarks are fundamental particles that cannot exist on their own, they must be combined with other quarks or antiquarks to form hadrons. There are six types of quarks, up, down, top, bottom, charm, and strange. We will only focus on up, down, and strange quarks. All quarks have a baryon number of plus one third. The up quark has got a charge of plus two thirds, the elementary charge, while the down and strange quarks have a charge of minus one third. Only the strange quark has got strangeness, a strangeness of minus one, strangely. For every type of quark, there is an anti-quark with the opposite properties. For example, an anti-strange quark has a charge of plus two thirds E, a baryon number of minus one third and a strangeness of plus one. All baryons are made of three quarks. For example, a proton is made of two up quarks and one down quark, UUD. From this we can deduce its properties. An up quark has a charge of plus two thirds and a down quark has a charge of negative one third, giving us a total charge of plus one, as we'd expect with a proton. They each have a baryon number of one third, giving us a baryon number of one, again as we would expect for a baryon such as a proton. We also know that a proton has no strangeness, and that is true because the up and the down quarks each have zero strangeness too. Similarly, a neutron is made of two down quarks and one up quark, giving it a total charge of zero and a baryon number of one. An antibaryon, such as an antiproton or an antineutron, are made of antiquarks. So, for example, an antiproton is made of two anti-up quarks and one anti-down quark, giving it a total charge of minus one and a baryon number of minus one. Mesons are each made of one quark and one antiquark. This means that they have a baryon number of zero, as the baryon number of the quark is cancelled out by the baryon number of the antiquark. The up, down and strange quarks and their respective antiquarks can produce nine different combinations of mesons. Those that are only made of up, down, anti-up or anti-down quarks we call pions, and they have a strangeness of zero because they don't have any strange quarks. Those that contain strange or anti-strange quarks we call kions, and these particles will have a strangeness. Each pion and kion can be ex expressed as plus, minus or zero based on their charge. Although there are nine combinations, note that three of them, the down anti-down, the up anti-up and the strange anti-strange, all have a charge of zero and a strangeness of zero, so we call them pi zero particles. This diagram is a convenient way of representing the possible pions and kions that are formed using up, down, or strange quarks and antiquarks. You can see that in these lines they have the same charge, these are negative, these are neutral, these are positive, and in these horizontal lines they have the same strangeness, plus one, zero for the pions, and negative one. If we know the properties, the charge and the strangeness of a meson, we can easily deduce its quark composition. For example, a pi minus particle must have a strangeness of zero because it's a pion and a charge of minus one. The only quark antiquark combination that can produce these properties is a down quark and an anti up quark. Similarly, a K plus quark, a positively charged kion, must have a charge of positive one and a non-zero strangeness. 
because it's a kion. The only combination of quarks that can form a K plus is an up quark and an anti strange quark. In a previous video, I introduced beta decay in terms of neutrons decaying into protons, electrons, and anti neutrinos. We can zoom further in and consider this again in terms of quarks. If a neutron decays into a proton in beta negative decay, it is changing from up, down, down to up, up, down, plus the electron and the anti electron neutrino. In other words, a down quark is turning into an up quark. Only the weak interaction is able to do this. Similarly, in beta positive decay, an up quark is turned into a down quark, releasing a positron and a neutrino. This causes a proton to change into a neutron. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.